Um, good afternoon and good evening. <clears throat> I find it difficult to talk about this on my social media. Sometimes it is good to be quiet and silent. But I think it's necessary for me to actually do this video based on some, I don't know what name to call them, uh, who came to social media. I saw some uh, comments, uh, a comment on my platform, some comments on my platform that uh, say that uh, Simon Ekba, they called me all sorts of names on my comment. And I decided not to respond, and I didn't want to block that person on my platform. And uh, he, they called me names. And of course, you guys know that my phone number is open for anybody. My phone number is there. If you send me a WhatsApp message, I go see him. And this person was like, he came and said that uh, the sort of message I'm going to just um, mind what I say because of Facebook. He called me all sorts of names that, oh, Simon Ekpa have kicked the, you out now. You are not among the Simon Ekpa, whatever, whatever. Just, you know, all those people who are idiots. And um, I overlook it. Then I saw another message again. You know, all these people like, this guy, I, maybe you know they see my video all the time. I've never made a video a day. If I talk about politics and talk about religion, I will still talk about Biafra. And you know, at the beginning of my platform, when I made, when I started in uh, three years ago, if I'm not mistaken, I begin to talk about Biafra on my platform. I never changed the name on my platform to Biafra. My intention was to rant on my video talk about anything at all on my video, vlog, travel, talk about politics, talk about everything. But when Mazin Namdekanu was, uh, I don't think he, he was still around, then I began to talk about Biafra once a while in my platform, you know, on and off, on and off, and still doing other things, until Mazin Namdekanu was kidnapped. When Mazin Nandikano was kidnapped, straight two years, every day, back to back, back to back, every day, back to back. And I said it on my platform every day, like, this is my platform. If I say anything that you don't want, you can walk away. Some people will say, every day I must talk about Biafra. I say, every day I'm not... Whenever I don't talk about Biafra, people will come and say, I should be talking about Biafra. I say, you go and open your platform and talk about Biafra. This platform is Travel's Vlog. It's for everybody. Whether you be Oyibo, whether you be Blanco, whether you are from anywhere in the world, I will say things that every other people would like to hear. Or whether if you like to hear, you don't like to hear, but it's not all about Biafra. It's all about Biafra. I don't want you to misunderstand me. But I went back to back using four, three, two years talking about Biafra with my platform, using all sort of N words. The words where they use for my platform, nobody ever, nobody has ever used. They go don't block. They go don't block their platform because I was doing live the video. They restrict me many times. People are making money from social media. I was not making money. And I didn't care. Two straight years. Why did I open my platform? I want to make money. Yeah, I want to make money. That's why I open it. So, this is Travel's vlog. If I don't talk about Biafra, you too, go and open your platform and talk about it. If you think I'm not talking about Biafra enough, every day I followed my brothers who are agitating every day. Their platform, every day they talk about it. I follow them. I listen to them. 
me it's not all about position and money i'm supporting them the little i can where i am those were there for israel i refuse to 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 i don't know how i'm gonna put it i've been i've, I've been invited many times to come and join and i said no this is my my lifestyle is different from everybody it's not about position I don't know if I'm making sense to anybody. My life is not about money and position. I don't like politics from the beginning. If I begin to be on ground now, you go talk, you go talk. Sometimes, no how, no how, we are not going to see fight. Because this is human. We are all human beings. I don't want you to misunderstand me. This is my kind, this is my lifestyle. I don't belong to any association as soon as they see me so. Which is wrong. Absolutely wrong. Yesterday, they invited me to a Nigerian association. I said, yes, not true, not talk. Oh. I suppose join. I don't know what thing they worry me. Do you understand what I mean? I think I should try to change my, my ideology. Hmm? Nigerian association, I should be there. But maybe the way I was brought up, I don't know, I should call it isolation. I don't know if, I, if that is the, the, the true word for it. Everybody should belong to... Uh, 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 an association if something if i need help now who am i going to call i understand that but when you are talking about position i don't want to be in any position not at all so let me make it clear me and simon Ekba has never been in any uh i am nothing these people are more they, to me they are more intelligent everybody on simon Ekba cabinet all of them are intelligent and I believe they are more intelligent than I do. If I want to join the media, I would have joined them long ago. I've been invited if I can I should join the media. I don't I don't I, I want to do my things like this. And I'm going to support Simon Ekba forever. I said it many times. I'm not supporting his Simon. When we're talking about this Biafra, Simon, what Simon is doing is not about Simon. It's about you and I, it's about freedom. If you don't if you don't see Simon Epa as a person who is actually fighting for freedom, then fight for you. It's okay. Just stay where you are. I watch my brothers every day. I watch their videos. I learn and in fact Simon Epa have done it to the extent that he don't even need to talk anymore. The action that is his action right now. If you want to see what he's doing, go to his Twitter and follow him. I'm actually on his Twitter right now. Our resolve. And we will tell them who we are. We are not cowards. What you do in Benue, you can't do it in Biafra land. Not now, not tomorrow, not never. Yes. I listen to them. It's, it's make. It's making me happy. I don't have to be on their media. Not be everybody go there. Not be everybody go there. Some people go there for flaw. I be. I want to be one of those who are there for flaw. I've used what I have to advocate for Biafra. Awareness. We, we have done that. I have done that past now. Now the action where the man they do. First of all, you go open. Biafra government in exile in Maryland, U.S. Biafra government in exile in South Africa. Biafra government in exile in Philippines. Biafra government in exile in India. Biafra government in exile in Korea. Biafra government in exile in Finland. Biafra government in exile everywhere. What else do you want him to do? For those of you who are enemies, how else do you want to get freedom? These are the things you are supposed to have on ground. That man is very intelligent. Whether you like Simon Ekpa or not, he is intelligent. Stop the propaganda, those propaganda with government. You don't expect the government to just come and be looking like this. The government is going to fight back with whatever propaganda they have. Simon Ekpa is actually strangling Nigerian government like this. He's strangling them. You don't expect them to come and say, oh, Simon Ekpa is winning. You don't have to see dead bodies on the road before you know that Simon Ekpa is doing what he's doing. It's, if I was Simon Ekpa, I will, I will never be patient like Simon. 
But the guy is using diplomatic sense. They enter them. Building an ally. Do you think they are going to give you freedom without fighting? No, I don't they go, I don't they talk about Biafra now. I, I come to defend myself that me, me, I know the vice Simon, Simon, no fan, they know, okay, this is what I come to defend, that I was never in the cabinet of Simon Ekba. I sometimes joined them, when they, 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 I joined them, I talk, I watch them live on Twitter, on X, every time, but I don't feel like, I just want to listen to them, if I want to talk about Biafra, I talk here, and I support them, one million percent. So let me make it clear to those of you that we can't abuse me. One million percent. But you have to understand that my page is Travels Vlog. Hmm? And every week, no week where I know they talk about Biafra. I they talk about Biafra every week. I don't think I don't think there's anybody on social media, Facebook. They they block everybody Facebook. I don't know why they no block my Facebook. I they use N word like nobody for two years. Where they say for Nigeria, they don't they ask me they want to buy my platform. They want to buy they want to close they want to buy the platform. Make I know they talk them again. They want to buy it with dollar. I can't I buy waiting. You can't buy me. They know they take money, they know they take money by me. You know they possible. I can never betray any African man. Or anybody at all in my life never nobody can use money to buy me to betray an African man but many of you will do and as some of you they do for this Israel now when they point and say this person no get paper when they watch me now African brothers you 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 now when they point hand to my immigration this one no get, because of what you will go to chop for my mouth I will never be that kind of person they rather take me and put me inside the sea make I die than to betray any of you but I will stand with the truth because you cannot get freedom without fighting back. You can't get freedom without fighting back. Don't blame the man. For those of you who don't steal, still you will never understand what Simon Ekba is doing. All those things must be on ground. This is what South Africa did. And today, Una we be mumu una there for South Africa. Don't you research. Wait, I don't even know where, that, where I put a... Uh, Excuse me. Go and read books. This is go and read book. Go and read books. Go and read books. This is Mandela book. He talk and how they take the fight. They look for gun everywhere. They look for weapon everywhere. Today, where you they see say South Africa, they take. Israel to S um, uh, SCJ or what in the column. Do you know why? Mandela came looking for weapon, money. I listened on uh, um, a tutor yesterday here where uh, uh, a guy was accusing Simon Epa like, eh, you are creating social media to make money. Yeah, I, I think he's referring to cryptocurrency. You, he's referring to cryptocurrency, like uh, you're making money, you're creating all the media. Who not like money? Can you get freedom without money? What will you use to fight the freedom? Not being the tech win on our Biafra because there was no money coming in. They block on our block food. Go and ask Ukraine how they are fighting. Go and ask Israel. Israel they produce weapon, but it's not enough for them. They, they, America they sell weapon, give them, they, they help them to fight. Today in Ukraine, NATO supply money and everything to U Ukrainians to fight. So if Simon Epa decide to put anything that will bring money on ground, what is your problem? No, everybody like money. No money, you can't survive. Without weapon, you know go fit win war. Yeah. Many of us will be Nigerians. Yeah, make I talk like that. We don't know what we want.
ask any Nigerian now what is their problem. They don't even know their problem. They move, they just now Buhari, 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 they go to talk. Buhari as he did so, I was saying a Buhari I've been a uh, waiting be name. Uh, what's your new president self? You still saying that one nine problem nine, nine be the main problem? Don't you know that they, they are elites? There are people where we say, waiting they want, now so they want time. When he enter, what you want to first hear when he enter? He first bless them, increase their salary up. He first increase their salary. So, so I don't call, no problem, I deal with you now. I mean, you know, increase that. That misconception we want to bring. My brother, I stand with Simon Epa. I know they changed my mind. I'll tell you, I am like a captain of a ship. I'll tell you how captain of a ship. For those of you now, I want to school you guys. I want to school you today. A captain, I don't know if it's still happening now. I read that in the book. A captain of a ship. When ship, they do what in the sink. The captain of the ship, not the, you know, they run away. He go make sure say he save everybody wait there for the ship. And sink with the ship. I want to be like the ship, Mazin Nam Dikano, Simon Ekba. I will believe in what I believe. Even if I'm coming to Nigeria today, I still believe in what I believe. This is me. This is what I believe in. You too you believe in what you believe. That is why we don't even know our own fundamental human rights in that country. Anybody can believe in Biafra. But now they could arrest Una by Una. Just for you to say that you believe in Biafra, you are Biafra. Now everybody is an enemy of it of the state. Then where is the fundamental human right? You don't have to hate me for who I believe in. If you are an Igbo man who believes that Biafra is not the issue, I mean Biafra is not the is not the way out, or you don't believe in Simon, it, I don't care. If you make Simon your, your enemy, Simon will never be my enemy. He is not my enemy. Simon Ekpa is strangling the government. Would I don't know where government come the top says Simon Ekpa is seizing the air, the airspace. Do you know what it means to airspace? Okay, I want to show you guys something. Make I show now what Simon Epa do. Wait, make I show now this one. Look now, no worry. I want to show you today. I want to show you something. Yeah, the BLJ. I be saying a B B B R G or something. Yeah. Don't worry. I, I want to show you something. Let's let me let me go back to the this thing. Okay. Look at this. This is what it's doing. It's have to fight back. Is fighting back when Mazinam the Kanu started this Biafra agitation. They were just saying with flag, give us referendum, give us referendum. Today they don't see person way past them. I want to show you something. See him, see him, see for those of you that we know no no waiting. <laughs> Wait, I want to show you. I don't want the music on the background. What do you see here? What do they see here? You see him? You see him? This is what the government will not show you. Yeah, your federal government will not show you this. That is why they are panicking. You see him? Yes. That's it. You see him? Mm-hmm. You see, I want to tell you something. The government itself are not going to be with sitting down and watch. They are panicking. They don't want to lose their position. They think, I mean, yeah, it's normal, but you have to fight to get the free. When you don't fight, United Nations don't see. Now that time, their eye will come down. Yeah, I will still use my voice to support Biafra. At the talk, I'm every day. But I they try to avoid not to, because the reason why I know fit, not be say I they fear to talk him. 
Now only one time person they buy, not be two times. I talk and if I say I know, say now like this, it go be. I no go born children. My my sister children picking day on my neck. My children two day on my neck. I for don't go Nigeria whether Simon like him or not though. Now because of those people, I they think I swear. I know say those where they there too. They have children. They have life. But if I say I know, say now waiting at the see future. I no go get children. I see they happen so I they carry my bag. If I buy, I buy. What kind of life is this? Does, does the life really have meaning? That my children are still going to be. When I know they see and say this full and people, they we are being maltreated. They treat us like a tissue paper all the time. And we are still smiling that everything is alright. South South, South East. Go and see how the police they mount an army, they mount for the road. Then I saw they go to collect money from now, collect money, collect, making millions out of you by you guys. Instead of them to face the kidnapper and the Boko Haram, you are talking about Simon who is asking you for a referendum. Kidnapping the young, the youth, destroying the markets and the villages. So you are you are you, you, you they are terrorists. Oh Nelson Mandela was also called terrorist. I don't care what you write here. Me, I don't care what you want to write here. I don't care what you want to write here. I they talk and today say, I support whatever Simon Epa is doing. If I see, I they support him. That is my right. Yeah. You can call me names. It's all right. So... <laughs> That's it. Now, waiting, I want to talk to that. Look, those of you, I never want to be in any position. I know that me, I know that I know the drag position. Say, okay, I don't know why that guy even talked that thing. Why would I want to be in a. They, they invited me. My brothers invited me. Solomon, come they join us. Yeah. They invited me. Come and join us. I, I said, oh, I'm sorry, bro. I know be like that. You understand? I don't want to. I just want to use my platform. To support Otinku Kamu, Mua Bo Tinku. Mua Soso Tinku Kamu. I'm creating awareness for those where we said that my platform is for awareness that we want referendum. If Simon Ekpa decides to fight the soldiers and defend themselves, oh yeah! <laughs> How is that my problem? I support him. Why don't you sit a meeting? Say, is, is it a rocket science to sit a meeting and discuss and release the man that you locked up? Show me any fool anywhere they locked up now. Show me one. About a few weeks ago, terrorists, Boko Haram, are they, oh God, they say repented Boko Haram. And Mazin Namikan, who is actually fighting for your freedom. But all of you, I want to protest now for Nigeria. Why are you protesting? What are you protesting for? What are you actually protesting for? Go back to the sisters and see the problem you have in that country. Your problem you have started from the sisters, from 1960s. Even though we're having a problem before we arrived to 1960. Only three years, now they give them, they be, don't begin the fight. When I know see, say, oh, you both people just carry on ahead, mark each other. Oh, yeah, Yoruba, Igbo, eh, all of you, you are Nigerian. When I accept, say, when I be Nigerian, fine. We got independent in 1960. Instead of us to begin to progress, they begin to fight each other. Yoruba, Igbo, Hausa, hatred every day. We don't love each other. If there is love, we will thrive. I understand there's no country you are going to see 100% love. I quite understood that. But that love is not deep, deep there. It's not deep, deep there. Me, I they speak Yoruba. Now only I will say land, I never go. The whole of Southeast, I mixed into it. Those who know the talk, if you want to talk, say Igbo. I said, don't say Igbo. Igbo do this, Igbo do this. Some go say, ah, Igbo people, they do this. Say no, they say they don't get criminal for Yoruba land. 
they don't get criminal for for another 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 state. Hmm? Why not, why the hate for the Igbo so high that I feel it? You know you don't understand. So they will say it in your face. Peter Obi is the ex typical ex that's my point. Exactly my point. Peter Obi was a typical example. Typical example of the hate that we got. Me, where they hear Yoruba like this. <laughs> Yoruba people they talk about my face, they go talk like this, say, ah, I want more Igbo, yeah. Now so they go abuse Igbo in front of me. There's no love, oh make not forget to. Oh. Make I tell you now, forget. Yoruba, mm -mm. if you be Yoruba where they watch me, you don't have the. There's no way you are going to love an Igbo man pass on our own people. There's no way. An Igbo man no go love you like his own people. Before he give your people job, Igbo man go first give Igbo man job. Yoruba go first give Yoruba man job before he give any other tribe. So why why don't is it a rocket science? Make we divide the country, make everybody go so that our upcoming generation will strive. What is the problem? What is the what is the what seem be the problem? Go 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 to divide the country. You see, we are, you are starting afresh if the country is divided. Yoruba will start afresh. Their currency will be waiting. Their currency will start afresh. Arewa will start afresh. Biafra currency will start afresh. Those who want to belong, even in the south, south, southeast, anybody who want to belong to Fulani, will now go to carry the land, join Fulani people. In this 21st century, the people are in the forest using guns. And when they are there, they talk about Biafra people who want referendum. Una well, so. Every day they find Una no Una no feel far. Hungry won't kill all of Una now. Now hungry won't kill all of Una. We Una day here. No, I know they talk so now. They talk about Nigeria as a whole, including me. Hungry won't kill us. They tell you say person where they are brought no feel farm. You know go sponsor people make a go farm. Hungry they kill us. When you they buy tomato for Lagos, five tomato five hundred. They say Nigerian army, Nigerian army. They no fit. <sighs> okay, I'll show you this. Let me show you another video. Let's go. I'll show you another video. You see, Nigeria is panicking because of Simon. Simon, not a joke now. I want to show you another. In fact, don't, don't be this video I won't show now, but I will show you another one. See where did they pursue them? See them, they they run, you see? Why are they running? Don't worry, there is a video I want to show you. I I'm not, I was not prepared to even come and show video here. I don't tell him if we're not there for Twitter, we're not gonna know what's in the happen. Yeah. If we declare Biafra, we go go do them. Yeah. Uh, now this picture, these children where I born. Now you see this see look at the people where they carry us they do yeah yeah. See people where they carry us do yeah yeah. See people where they carry una do yeah yeah for that country. See people where they carry una do yeah yeah, see them. <laughs> Sunana Muhammad Ben Tuliji na pitar da wannan sanarwa domin ya kai duk kunnen dan Najeriya da wanda da shugaba da talaka duk ya kai see people where they carry una do yeah yeah see people where they carry police do yeah yeah see people where they carry the whole citizen do yeah yeah see people where they carry senators house of assembly police military see them inside see the oga see the oga duk wanda aka fadi haka ya sauko a amma tawallin maradun Wait, so now, 
So they are going to make the scene. 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 So they wash pants to make the scene. So they are going to make the scene. So they are going to make the scene. So they are going to make the Everything now, everything now, money, money, money for now. I like he's making money out of this problem that he's, he's happy. Look, when I go check in profile now, a politician, a reserve ministry, and a person where we say he get mad for community, community leader. Everything now, money, 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 money. When I see people talk, he's making money out of this. He's making money. When they make money, when they are every every Saturday, now the time where they do donation. Yes, every Saturday, you must, they must they need money. Of course, they need it. NATO, they sponsor Ukraine today. Now money. Israel, they fight war today. Now money. you know how much? Where they sell one drone? One drone where Israel go use. You don't know how much. Wait, make I see whether I go Google one. Let me see if I can Google one for you. Israel drone shot down by Hezbollah was worth ten million dollars. You got to hear that? Not be ten thousand dollars. So, one drone where Israel they used to fight one ten million dollars. That's the word. Wait, make a computer for screen. We could not see him. Hold on. Hamas drone. What about ten million dollars? Hamas, where the fight was, so their drone cost ten million dollars. So how do you expect Simon Epa to fight the Nigerian soldier? Why the Nigerian soldiers are, are they are escaped? They they are complaining. I don't think I even need to bring this. I don't need to bring it. I don't need to bring it. If you want to believe, believe. So, the terrorists in our forest will all be eliminated after 20, 48 hours. After 40, 48 hours, our forest will be ransacked. The Biafra Defense Force. Many of them are there for America today. They enjoy America. When I think say America, just wake up one day and say, Hey, United States of America. Hey, you Africans, I want to give you green card. Come. Hey, all of you from Africa, come and get green card. Didn't you read about the civil war in America? They fought. Yes, they fought. The British you see today fought to detain where they occupy now as a British Empire or British or Britain. They fought. Sometimes I they dig. That place not be then get them now. That land where they did so not be then get them. They come that place. Okay, let's do this. I'm not prepared with this. But let's do it.
5th century AD. Anglo-Saxon settlement. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me let me screenshot it and bring here. I want to bring it on the platform so you guys can read. Uh, you know the you know the fear. Make you know the fear. Make you know the fear. Make we know fight this. Make we fight this thing once and for all. Remove all these people where they make us hungry for that country. Come on them throw away for one place. If you know go find them, make you know go find them. You know they there they say protest, protest, protest. We are going to find a good leader. When are you going to find a good leader? When are you going to know that they are playing tricks on all of you? This is the British today. The British, the 5th century AD, Anglo-Saxon settlement. The first people to be called English were the Anglo-Saxon, a group of closely related Germanic tribe that began migrating to Eastern and Southern Britain from the Southern Denmark and Northern Germany. In the fifth century AD, after the Romans had withdrawn from Britain. Okay, you see that? I'm coming again. No, we could not go anywhere. We could not go. We could not go sharpen. Some of you are put money down. Make everybody carry. If they carry soldier face us, make we face all of us where they are brought. Make we come back. May we come back. If you want pine, make we pine so that our generation go 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 see better life. All these people will be said they are they are puppet to Americans, puppets to Britain and all these Europeans. When are we going to have freedom? Every time we are migrating, we are being they don't count us at anything. They don't just have a choice. Go and see Congo now. For more than 50 years, Congo people, they, they, they suffer. Nobody is talking about Pan-Africanism. All this one, what they do for Kenya now, do everything we saw. We, the youth of Africa, are supposed to go close to those Kenya people. Sit together. Let all of us have a youth, a union. Let's have a union where we're going to fight. We said we go get our weapon. We get our weapon. Any government will do nothing. Oh, yeah, make come. We close them down. We are tired of it, this puppet. Every time you're borrowing money, borrowing money, but we have all the resources. We have cocoa. In our country that we have cocoa, our children don't know what the cocoa is used for. Now, someone will be on a problem all the time. You people where they go to school. When I go to school, I don't sabi anything. Old man waiting for village, sabi something past all of them. I want to show you guys something. Make you not go anywhere. Sorry guys, I know they see, I know they see, I know they see we're waiting at the type here, yeah, sorry, I want to. Coming, I want to get something.
I'll show you. I'm coming. Don't go anywhere. Oh. That brick thing, when I see so, I don't know, say they fight. The British fought to stay in that land called Britain today. Yeah, no, the African people, they move themselves. Yeah, it's okay. Kenya, they suffer. Zimbabwe, they suffer. Even South Africa, they suffer now. For the past 10 years, South Africa have closed down, giving even their own brothers visa to stay in their country. Mumu people, you're busy talking about African to African, Pan Africanists. I'm coming, on. don't worry. I want to, I want to, I want to bring something to your to you, to you there. Just relax. I'm coming. I was not prepared for this, but uh, we're gonna do it. They fought the Roman empires to retain Britain today. I don't know. We are the fear. We are the fear to die. If the Anglo-Saxon chronic is to be believed. The various Anglo-Saxon kingdom, which eventually merged to become English, England, where found, were founded a small fleet of three or five ships of invaders. Mark that word, invaders, arrived at a various point around the coast of England to fight the sub Romans, British, and conquer their land. Did you see that? If you are a Briton and you are asking the Israelites that they, they occupy this country, you are also occupying Britain. Even America themselves, the occupier, is there in the history. So what are you talking about? Don't come to blame Simon Epart for fighting for his right. Everybody fight for their right. Today, all of you want to go to England. You don't even know how England was made everybody want to go to america green card the green card the green card you don't know how american was made remember they were all europeans they were all europeans everybody want their own territory. okay we are europeans i want my territory we are Africans. I want my territory. I don't want to belong to Yoruba. I don't want to belong to the Igbo. I want to be my own state. Abi, that English word I speak, they had. Are they not Europe? Is Britain not part of Europe? But today, I mean, yeah, that's, that was it. It's a simple understanding. That does not mean we, we, we can't coexist without each other. That, my point is, we, we, we cannot coexist without each other. There's no way. We will need the Yoruba people in a certain way. Yoruba people will need us in a certain way. So what, what, why, why are we wasting our time like this? If we want to protest, make we protest, go. Make we never protest. If we don't get waiting, we go take fight. Oh. If we don't get, I had to tell you now. We must get our own template. What do want to do? Make we get our template. Ah! Come on, if we don't know what's in the day, my head. It gets much, much away. If all these people get house now, they go to sleep for their house. They go, they just see, say the ceiling. They go, just see, say the roof come out for their head. Then now they go run, they go run, go pretend. Now Europe, the next day now Europe. That office for Abuja, you don't go see them there. We take over. If two or three of them bomb don't fall on top of their roof. Now women will have a pursue up and down. Davido, now all this. And I don't want make a mention name, self. All these big big men will be Kubana then money now. Wait, make una just come they show us car for social media. They flaunt money and show us una bling bling. Is life all about that? 
What about your upcoming generation? Do you think your upcoming generation can retain your, your money in that type of economy? Are you for real? Okay, when I don't get American visa, all of them are the are picking for America, when be American visa. One day they go pursue all of us, come up for that America. The time is coming. Where they are going to say, okay, we want like two million Africans to go back every year to two million. They go select you, put you for inside aeroplane or ship, ship you back to Africa. The time is coming. The time is definitely coming. What, what belongs to you belongs to you. Let him be your own, be your own. Let's fight for Africa. This is my point. Yoruba, get your space. Awusa, get your space. Fulani, get your space. And we are going to coexist together with love. You bring cow, I buy cow. I go to China, I bring electronic. We exchange. Yoruba, you say, Unasa, Unasa, Bibu, Kabi. We go employ you now as a lecturer. Uh -huh. When I will come to the lecture, when I won't be teacher, eh? Uh, when I go give us land, we go build our shop, we go to do business. Are we, are we not coexisting together? You go give me visa. If I do too much, deport me back to my own country. The whole world is occupied. All this one way they, they do propaganda. I just want to quickly talk about this Israel. They're occupying uh, Palestinian, occupying Palestinian. Everybody occupy. Even you, where be Igbo said, where would they talk? Is that your papa? your papa land be that? That land where would they not be our papa land? We were not born in uh, that West Africa. Our ancestors came all the way through Egypt, from Israel. Uri. God. Uri, the son of God. Now, what in history the trace us come? Everybody is land occupant. If not that one, we won't talk. We are all land, occup land occupant. That one, I'm waiting. I will talk next time. Thank you very much. Clara Rex, thank you very much. CJ Mega Money, thank you very much. My brother, that is why I don't want to talk about Biafra. If I talk about Biafra, I make a the feel. Yeah, I wanted to address that before that time. I forgot. When I talk, I'm, the thing they enter my head and I feel sick. So all this while, if I talk, I'm going to make noise and shout. I go shout the whole thing, make it come out my body. Now I make I know the not be sad. They fear to do them. Another time I say, oh, I want to try. I was I don't suppress myself until this way. I train myself not to talk. I was addicted to talking about it. Whether Facebook give me money or not, as long as 1,000 people, they watch the video, 2,000, they watch them, I pass my message, and I feel happy about it. You feel me? But I try to suppress it for the past month. If I did talk my thing, whether they talk about politics or I talk about religion, I'll, pre I'll bring it up. Because the pain, the way where they feel the pain. I, I even told my children, if I say I know, I know go burn on now. You say, Papa, waiting. I have beautiful children. Beautiful children. Say, uh, uh, Daddy, why? Why did you say that? I say, it's like I brought you guys to suffer. I brought you guys to suffer. Look. You don't have electricity. You don't have good road. I am my own government in the house. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling old right now. I, I was speaking to one of my daughters yesterday. I said, please. Get your education right. In the next 25, 30 years, I will be an old man. The only thing you can get from me is this education. Wherever I'm going to push you, I'll push you. Please, the country is not conducive. And I regret having you guys. You say, why, why, daddy? No, you are going to, God is going to bless you. I say, they don't understand yet. They don't know what is going on. I left them when they were young. They were tired of me at a point like, who will be this man self? Where be say be our papa? I have to sit them down and say, listen, if I cross to that land now, no matter how much I bring, the money is going to finish because of the economy. I won't be able to pay your school fees. I wish. Nobody like, nobody like Nigeria passed me. 
all of you that way they talk Niger, Niger. I love Africa. When I don't see anybody where they here, we don't get admission from Peking, we refuse to get in Peking, go America. Show me anybody where don't get admission, not me. Because this is my lineage. Once he crossed there at 18, 16, 17, he won't go enter university. He's lost. If you don't enter drug, you go enter gayism. That was my point. It's not going to come back. I was thinking like, oh my God. I got admission for this child. Whew. I find excuse. I want my children to grow home. And they tell them, say, ah, as Nigeria, they want so. A lot of when I, when they watch me, when I don't carry on a picking, come out, finish. When I don't carry them, come out, finish. Now, me, I still there for Nigeria. I the pay school fees there. I want them for in Africa there. I love Africa. Some people don't carry all their children, come out, finish, go, go, I am the only, I am one of those who still believe strongly that Africa must be great. There's hope for Africa. And if you don't stand up, there is no hope for Africa. It's until when me and you, we begin to love each other. Many of you that we date America today, since when I don't date America, some of some people, they regret now, say, ah, I don't hold now. My Pekin no go go home. The all the house where I built, who go stay there? Hey, if I die, who where may they bury me? Yeah, a lot of you are thinking about it now. Yes. Your children will never come back. They don't want to come back there. What did they want to do now? But if we fix Africa, good roads, infrastructure. 24 hours electricity, those children can fly home at any time. Say, oh, I'm, I'm good security. Not be this one where mosquito, they bite them, they get malaria. Treat the mosquito. When they come home, they're going to feel at home. They'll feel loved. Africa is the best way, place to live. The best place to live is Africa. A small piece of land for abroad, you're not going to feed by them. They build her, they go tell you millions. If I go home now, I go live like a king in Africa. See where I stay now. I don't sit down where back don't they pay me. And I they pay seven hundred dollar. See, make I tell the landlord, make you come fix them. You know go come fix them. You know go come fix them, you know send me. Because if they look me like an idiot. Hmm, African man. Yeah, don't worry, don't, don't worry, I'll come, I'll come, I'll come. But if now you both tell and make you come fix the cupboard, sharp, sharp, you don't come fix them. For Africa, I think go my backyard, go put tomato. Uh -huh. I go plant anything. Atmosphere. Good atmosphere. If I don't get this Maggi for Africa, I go go my neighbor say, I beg, give me Maggi. If he needs salt, he go come to me. All those things know they are abroad. You and your neighbor, when I know they see you in yourself. Kitty, 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 kitty. Many people go work two jobs, three jobs, three jobs, two jobs, three jobs, three jobs, two jobs. Some people go that to Bodo Yibo, they never came back. Where they are running up and down. When are we going to start loving each other? My point is clear. And I'm going to say this for anybody who thinks that dividing, dividing Nigeria is a wrong thing to do. No. I want you to check the forest. How many species of snake do we have? Let's go to internet. Please, I just want to do, make this clear. How many species of snake do we have? Please, hold on. Let's go to this uh, analysis. How many... Hmm. Species of snakes do we have? We have about 3,000 species of snakes. There are more than 3,000 species of snake on the planet. They are found everywhere except that's, let's, let me, let me just put it there. You see these snakes? They are not the same, but they are all snakes. They don't look the same. 
all the species of snake flock together. They stay together as couples, they have children, and they have their own autonomy. I mean autonomy. Snakes. Why don't we? I don't look like Fulani. Do I look like Fulani? Give me a space, man. Fulani, have your space and your culture. Yoruba, have your space and your culture. Leave me alone. But these 3,000 snakes that we're talking about, they are still working on the same space. Here, yeah. they go go on top of tree, chop there. Everybody go stay in, in place. That why don't why why don't you why why are you guys not getting the point? Let's go to the monkey. How many species of monkey do we have? We have 160 species of monkey. <laughs> you, you're not gonna see them group together. You, you, you're not gonna see them group together. If you pass, if you pass where they day, they go fight the other one. Yeah, that's they flock together in the same forest, and they are coexisting. Why don't you guys get my point? Give us referendum. Leave that man where they be, where be Mazin Namdekano alone. Leave this man alone. Oh, I don't want to talk about this. I said it. Uh, uh, guys, I have to go. I'll see you guys on my next video. I'll see you guys. I beg. Make I no get headache. I'm already. Make I no get headache. That's why I don't want, like to. But me. I... So God bless you. I'll see you again on my next video. Please don't forget to go and watch my video on YouTube. I'm going to download this on my YouTube right now. Thank you very much. God bless you.